All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting rendition here on Banjo Race. We are continuing the dark side of the boards, the Memer Board Tournament, and we are going to see our last two contestants get it on here today on their side of the winner's bracket. We've got Steve going up against Mumbo Token. Should be a great time here today. Welcome in, fans. It's your boy, SHM, here. Bring you another exciting race. Um, it's going to be a good race today. We got some good categories picked. Think our runners are just about ready to go. Let me go ahead and swap on down here and in the tournament. Ask People about the runners. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are we Hello. doing? Mr. SHM, I have a question. What's the question? Can, can we start our timers at 3.77? You can start your timers okay, at 3.77. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to be using my own timer anyways. So oh, okay. Sure. No worries about okay. that. You can keep your own timer just to keep you guys safe. Gotcha. Uh, but okay, yeah, so that's totally fine. Bother. All right. I'll just so, add the four seconds. Yes. Uh, we've got an exciting race today between German Steve, Mumba Token. we got iCub joining us in commentary today. It's going to be a real tree. He just had a nail-biting game three yesterday against uh, Gogo. So I'm sure I'm he's going to have a lot of commentary. <laughs> he's still shaking. We have a lot of commentary for the race today. Uh, let's get right into it. Game number one is Pot of Gold Jiggy. Uh, Mumbo, Steve, are you guys ready to go? I'm ready. I'm fully ready. That's you got to copy it. Yeah, start streaming on Discord. I, yeah, that would be a good idea. Let me get OBS pulled up here for iCup so that he can commentate alongside me. Okay, well, if both of you guys are ready to go, chat, hopefully you guys are ready to go. We're going to go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. All right, move them into their own respective channels, and uh, hopefully they're still synced from earlier. I know we synced way ahead of time, but... We should be okay. It looks like maybe Steve uh, is uh, a little off here. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Oh, actually, it is the end of the world because uh, Mumbo started his timer at... Uh, Mumbo started his timer at... Uh, let's see. I need to get them... There we go. We good? Now we're just about even, I believe. All right. Mumbo's got his timer a little bit ahead, so I can't really tell. I think, if anything, he's like maybe a second ahead of Steve right now, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to bring Mumbo's volume down just a little bit because it's a little overpowering for me. Chat, let me know if you want the game volume to just be a little louder, a little softer, whatever sounds correct. Okay, iCup, thanks for joining me with commentary today. Uh, what are we going to see here? Uh, pot, pot of gold, gold. Jiggy, I think it's a pretty straightforward category. I mean, basically, you just get your eight jiggies, and you have to remember to get ice eggs for pot of gold. And so how you do you get ice eggs? Up. You gotta well, get first, split up. You need to get split up, and then you go in the cliff top. Yeah, and you need and ice eggs. right there. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think ice eggs is like 200 notes, right? It's I think a, it's, it's 200. a fair amount up there. Let me check the cheat sheet. I believe it's a 200. Both so, having a pretty solid start, at least. Yeah, Mumbo getting green potion there, I believe, while Steve got red. So Mumbo will be the first one out. But yeah, we should see a pretty similar uh, linear route, getting those eight jiggies, getting enough notes for split up and ice eggs. And then immediately DCWing into Pot of Gold. So that is the hope. Now, it's also important to note the world record for this category is held by none other than the Mumbo Token. With oh a 2644. Ice Eggs is 200, by the way. Yeah. So we'll have to see if uh, Mumbo can hold on to his world record. Or if he's going to go ahead and destroy it. Which would be nice. It would be nice if he had a, a nice new world record. We've been seeing a lot of those in the Memer Board Tournament. Because people have been uh, fighting pretty hard. 
I feel like a lot of the meme board categories, there isn't a lot of competition for them, so people just get like an okay run and call it good. Well, for the most part, it's been like somebody does a race or somebody does a category, they submit it, and then nobody wants to do it. <laughs> nobody wants to see if they're going to beat them or not. Yeah. Or time it. That's why we need to get as many people on the meme boards as possible. That way, even when you don't necessarily beat their time, you're earning a lot of points by beating other people's times. Hopefully, uh, the meme board tournament brings more attention to the meme boards and people are more interested in running sort of the fake categories. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so Mumbo with a nice uh, Red House treble. He does uh, have a little bit of a lead on Steve here, even after Klungo. And uh, we'll be opting to go into Bottle's house for the goggles. This Interesting. tells me he does not want to do Gondola DCW. Looks like Steve is going to do the same. I mean, there's no reason to go up there anyway, so just get the notes around the tent and then run up to Space Zone and use the goggles. That is true. Welcome in, chat. I hope you guys are ready for another exciting match today. I believe the loser of this match goes up to face Claire in the loser's bracket. And the winner goes on to face GDO. So very exciting results that we're going to see here today. So Mumbo already looking like he's going to opt for the GGM early route. Just tagging the silo so he can come back later. It looks like Steve's doing the same. Um, and this is this is pretty standard, I think. Mumbo will have to go into uh into um fuel depot in order to set up the DCW, so. That's why he's opting not to grab these notes ahead of time. He did lose a little bit of time entering GGM, though. Both runners seem to be struggling a little bit. There we go. Steve oh. definitely picked up a lot of time there. Uh, I think for Mumbo, it was about his sixth or seventh try. For Steve, it was third try. And Steve, already we see a difference of routes here. Steve is opting for the flooded cavern waterfall jiggies. Mumbo's going straight into Wumba. Interesting. And what did we learn about flooded caves and waterfall cavern Ica? We literally talked about it like five minutes ago. It's just a little too slow for an eight jiggy route, I think. Yep. That is what is reflected in a lot of the uh, eight jiggy routes that have been noted, but we've already seen a few runners kind of push that idea under the rug and prove that, well, it's not that fast anymore if you only need eight jiggies. Kind of makes sense, though, because I always hated doing both waterfall jiggies, especially, like, the swimming section just seems really slow. Yeah, you're not wrong. Ooh, oh, Steve, Steve with a little bit of the laggy falling in the water there. Gotta make sure to stay up here. It could be good for 8 jiggies if you set up DCW Gogo, -Go, that's true. We'll have to see if that matters. Bumbo is surely going to do detonator levitation on his way over to grab those notes. But we'll have to see. Grip grab is not needed in this category. So we might see them skip Jade Snake Grove. Yeah, I think the Waterfall Cavern might be faster if you skip JSG. Well, I think the Waterfall Cavern could be fast if you do the Out of Bounds Swim. But that shit sucks. Nobody wants to do that. No. So here we go. Steve now with a couple jiggies under his belt. Mumbo making his way over to his second jiggy. Uh-oh. Timing just a little bit off there. He's going to surface. Make sure he's good. All right. That looks nice. Oh, he's bouncing over it. There we go. Then their movement's really awkward. Now Steve is making his way into Wumba for his detonator section. Yeah, the uh, detonator... His little hops can definitely be very awkward. Oh, no. Okay. I thought he didn't tag the Wumba Warp. 
I was like, nah, that's yeah. a ripper. It was just standing a little too far on the edge. Yeah. Okay, so already a difference in routes. We love seeing that. I love seeing that, especially in these short categories. Where there isn't a lot of variety. Yeah. So now Mumbo's going to grab his 25 notes and make his way to Bill Drill. So he'll be grabbing these without the shoes, whereas Steve already got his with the shoes. So that's where we already are kind of seeing a little bit of a difference. I don't know if that will come into play completely or not. Possibly. Steve setting up his DCW. Remember, both runners will be DCWing straight into the pot of gold challenge from the main menu. But they do need a couple moves in order to complete it. Like I kept said earlier, you gotta get ice eggs, gotta get grenade eggs, you gotta get split up so that you can get ice eggs, etc., etc. And they need 200 notes, but 200 notes shouldn't be too bad, right? They can get a lot of those notes in MT. We're probably gonna see that. They also need egg game for the mini game, right? I believe you are correct. I think they but do I mean, need mini game. Most most A Jiggy routes get it anyway, but yeah, they need a game anyways to do the DCW, so they're gonna get it. No. Yeah. So here we go, Steve going for detonator levitation. Now he gets it first try. Nice, Sue. That was hot. That looked very good. Picks up a little bit of time there on uh, Mumbo as well. Bumbo got a pretty quick generator cavern jiggy. He did. Now he's making his way back over to P Hut. Whereas Steve is done with his transformation. P Hut sucks now. Now they got rid of Pizone. <laughs> got rid of the Pizone and the garlic knots. Yeah. This rest now, in peace. The cheesy stuffed garlic knots. Now I never go to P Hut. Oh! Oh! Oh, his screen's really oh, dark. Oh, his screen is so dark. Oh my god. He's uh, salvaging it, though. Maybe I guess it's, good enough on, it's good enough on his TV. Woo! That was Thank a him. little spooky scary there from Mumbo Token. Little spooky scary there from Mumbo. But he's out. So he's leaving GGM with four jiggies, whereas Steve will be leaving it with six. And we'll see if that comes into play later on in the match. I do like Mumbo's route. I think it's really, really good to skip Flooded Cavern and Waterfall for eight jiggies. Just don't think it's quite worth it yet to go in there for eight jiggies. We'll see, for though, Steve. It definitely up. is. But we'll see if Steve has a cleaner MT route. Yeah, maybe S Steve skips JSG. That is true. So he'll have a really quick MT. Yeah, his MT would just be notes up to uh, Bovina. Grab that game. Get uh, top of temple while you're up there. And be done. Good work, Go Go. Nice work. Got him. We freaking cleaned their clocks. All right. No followers for us today. Yeah, no new followers. The double kill. No primes either. <laughs> All right, so Mumbo now grabbing grenades. He's making his way to open up MT. So we've got a little bit of a lull in the in the early game here. We'll hope that Steve stays aboard here in P Hut. Has a little bit better of a jump. He was really practicing this before we got started. I don't know if you noticed that, Icup. No. He was really practicing P hut. Really does not want to fail this. There you go. He's safe. Oh, baby. He's safe. Definitely, Definitely saved some time over Mumbo there. Saved some time over Mumbo, but did spend a lot of extra time in GGM. We'll see if that makes up the difference or not. He is going up against the world record holder for Pot of Gold in Mumbo Token. That is true.
Mumbo gets uh, some interesting piece RNG over here for his MT puzzle, but he can't grab the piece! 91 isn't bad, though. Yeah, not bad. D an average puzzle, which is all you can ask for, really. Okay, so Steve will be just behind here. So really, there isn't much else left to do, right? They're going to get the rest of their jiggies. And they've got to get 200 notes, but I imagine they're going to get all of them in MT and never collect any more notes. Right? I mean, the 100 notes in MT are pretty free, and they're already well, both at 110. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Maybe, maybe skip the treble clef, because you're going to walk up from egg game to Bovino probably. I mean, I guess you could skip the treble clef anyways, because, what, you're going to pick up 10 notes, like, somewhere in Witchy World? You probably can get away with it, right? Yeah, I mean, you're going to learn Split Up, and then you're going to go Space Zone, so that's, like, at least 20 notes around to 10, and then the 10 in yeah. Space Zone. So notes aren't even a big problem here. So as of right now, Mumbo is technically ahead in terms of the route, but he does have two less jiggies. Um, so it really is going to come down to, does Bumbo spend more time in MT than Steve does? Uh, and will it be enough? Because Steve has six jiggies. He picked up five in GGM, whereas Mumbo only got three. But what we said earlier is we think the two extra that Steve collected were just a little bit too slow for an A jiggy route. But again, we'll see what happens here. Mumbo already prepping for a JSG, so he looks like he has no problem going in here. Gets the perfect double Beak Bomb setup wow. into JSG. He made that look really clean. And yeah, I just got to wonder here if uh, Steve is dead. Skips over the grip grab. He is going to have the Jinjo cutscene. So Steve does not have to watch this. But I can't imagine that Mumbo is suffering from any sort of time loss here. Steve had a little bit of trouble with the MT puzzle there. Got an 88. So I kept as somebody who was racing yesterday and was kind of going through the motions of the A Jiggy route. Like, what are you feeling during the first like 20 minutes of all these meme board categories? Like, what are you focusing on? Um, well, like we discussed before this, it's like the A Jiggy route changes depending on a lot of things like in the category. Like, if you're going for all notes in Witchy World, for example, if you're just going to Witchy World and you don't need grenades, and that, honestly, I think the all-MT route I did yesterday would be faster. Right. But I think generally, like, the GDO route, the 3 in GGM and 5 in MT would be faster overall if you're just going to Witchy World, not DCWing. But if you're setting up for DCW, I think Mumbo has the better route here. Yeah, I agree. I like the option that Mumbo's taking because he did pick up the white Jinjo. He has the option to actually skip Bovina here. He just has to get orange Jinjo, top of temple, other orange Jinjo, and he can make his way out of here. Did he get egg game? No, I don't think so, right? He hasn't gotten egg game yet. Oh! Ooh. Ground pound's a little early, but obviously not enough to make a big deal. He is going to drop down for the treble cleft. Yeah, so That's he's going to grab this orange Jinjo. I actually really like this route from Mumbo. So he yeah. jumps down here. He grabs A game immediately. And then he's only going to oh, get so many... Uh, he's only going to get so many notes in MT on his way yeah, out. Yeah, a lot of text there, though. But this is still a really good route. So the thing that sucks here with, with Steve is now he has to come all the way down here to A game. And then he's got to walk back up for Bovina. So yeah, Mumbo is just making this look real nice. He's going to be leaving MT with 170 notes, which means he only needs 30 more. And he's got all of his stuff that he needs in terms of jiggies. Whereas Steve is going to have a little bit more notes. Actually, he's going to have the same number of notes unless he beak bombs through the treble clef. And Steve still is an MT, even though Mumbo had more time to spend in MT. So, yeah, I do think Mumbo just ultimately had a better route there. Yeah, I think at this point Mumbo's so far ahead then. Unless he truly fucks up somewhere. 
Yeah, I can't imagine what you could do to really screw up this route. Uh, now that all the jiggies and notes are pretty much done, it's basically walking to where you need to go. Uh, I mean, he could bonk on split up. He could bonk on a game. But, like, unless he fucks up the DCW somehow, you definitely are winning here. Steve now making his way out of MT, but he's almost an entire puzzle down on, on Mumbo. Yeah, a really, really interesting route there. Just to beak bust down, grab the treble clef, be close to the bridge for that orange Jinjo. Really, really nice stuff there from Mumbo. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that route, actually. Where you grab the orange Jinjo, that's your eighth jiggy, and then you jump right down the egg game. Yeah, I think uh, ultimately, right, if you've got a really good JSG, it's definitely fast in these eight jiggy routes. I get a nice puzzle in chat. <laughs> yep. So, see finishing up his GGM. I'm doing Witchy World. Mumbo with a nice 85. Definitely looking good. So there's not much else really to this route. Like we said, they're going to go into Witchy World for the rest of their notes and split up. Set up that DCW. Reset their game. They're going to go to Cliff Top for Ice Eggs. Save and quit. And then they're DCWing straight into Pot of Gold. Yeah, I hope both of them remember to go get Ice Eggs, because that's easy to forget, like, the muscle memory of resetting and then just going straight to DCW. That would be a yikers if they DCW'd there without Ice Eggs. Uh, because uh, if you DCW to CCL, I kept, uh, there's no leaving. The, oh, only no. Way, the only way you're leaving is back to GGM, because uh, the bubble is not there to take you out of the level. They need 45 jiggies. And then you need 45 jiggies just to get back into CCL. Uh, as well as uh, six more puzzles. So, yeah. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, if it does, we'll definitely be seeing uh, another game coming out of this. And if it happens, the both runners will be here for a very long time. That is true. The fastest backup would just be to restart the run. You know, I mean, absolutely yeah. Absolutely right. So Mumbo's on pretty good pace here. Definitely looks like he could bop his own world record. Just has to grab the rest of those notes and split up and make his way to set up his DCW. Steve is right behind him, but I do think Mumbo has a sizable enough lead to where it's probably over at this point. Mumbo even working the camera angles to reduce the witchy world lag. You'll love to see it. How many notes does he have? He's got 175. Oh, I noticed Steve didn't reset out of the puzzle there. That's questionable. He did not. Yeah, I don't necessarily know which puzzles are faster to reset out of. No. I generally don't reset out of it like I didn't yesterday when I did all MT because I was going back to Wood Hollow anyway. But Yeah. So here we go. Mumbo, I think he had, what, 190? So he's going to grab the sign notes or the hive notes to bring him to 200. Yeah, I think he'll have enough. Oh, baby. Egg aim skip. Oh, God. Is that going to be a new meta in meme rewards? <laughs> I was about to say and bingo, but no, that's not. Yeah, no. Bingo, Egg Aim is here to stay forever. All right, well, there isn't too much left to do here. When's the meme board category bingo, no cheats allowed? Gross. And even Steve, uh... knife in the back with Jam Dice bonking on split up. You hate to see it.
I mean, this game isn't even 30 FPS most of the time. It's like 25 to 20. Most of the time. Is it always faster to reset if you're not going anywhere than MT? Maybe that is the reason. That makes sense to me, Dingo. Could be the case. Yeah, I just think if if you're going back to Wood Hollow, it's not faster. Otherwise, it is faster. Yeah. Well, in the old route, when we used to do GGM into uh, MT, I guess you're right, because we were going to GGM. That makes sense. I was thinking about the old 100% route. But it makes sense that we left into Wooded Hollow to get to Plateau. We didn't have the silo yet, so that makes sense. Okay, well, Mumbo has all of his requirements, and I imagine it's done here. He's going to save and quit, set up the DCW. Steve is right on his tail. Maybe he already has 200 notes. Hey, he's skipping sign notes, so I assume. Hopefully he knows how much I said, Glor. Well, I think he's got enough. I think he grabbed a little more than, uh, than Mumbo did in uh, MT. Mumbo making absolutely sure he's selecting the right minigame. Quitting immediately out to store Banjo's location. Man, that's really fast. Yep. Usually there's a bit of a cutscene there. Yep, Steve does have 200 notes. Both runners remembering ice eggs, good. Yep, you love to see it. Both runners are in Tui Prison right now. So, yeah, I mean, both runners, it's a close race, but obviously Mumbo just with the better eight jiggy route uh, is going to take the win here in game number one. And uh, we'll be ready to go into game number two pretty shortly. Game two is going to be a lot of fun. Two Chia Page rewards. There's so many different routes they could do. That is very true. That's 10 Cheeto Pages. That's 10 Cheeto Pages. All right, so Mumbo loads into Fuel Depot, and boom, he's in the real pot of gold. Now he's got to shoot in all these eggs. What's your guess is for the time Mumbo's going to get chat? My guess is five seconds for me. There he goes. He's got it all set up. The golden eggs have spawned. World record is a 26.44. This is going to be close, actually. It is going to be close. Held by Mumbo Token. Oh, God. Taking his time, making sure not to miss any. Yeah. He's looking pretty good on this. I just don't know if he's going to beat it with the cutscene. He's definitely taking his time, making sure it's all there. Yeah. It's a pretty long cutscene, too, because you have to watch the Jiggy and the Cheetah Page spawn. Then Grundy has a lot of text afterwards. Oh my gosh. He is going so slow. Yeah. He's, make, think... he's making sure. He choked world record. Oh, he's only spawning the Jiggy, I think. No, he spawned both. No. He spawned both, but he's not going to beat his world record. Rip. But he is going to take game one here. Out from Steve. And... Uh, time! GG's. Alright, let's All go. Alright, GG. Alright, GG's. GG's. Nice job, Mumbo. Good job, Mumbo. Congrats. No. I'm seeing uh, what Steve's time is here. I think Steve is finishing less than a minute behind you. That was actually pretty close. Within a minute is always close. good. 
Yeah. Even with y'all's completely separate routes. Well, I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet Steve will have a better uh, pot of gold than I did. <laughs> I had a two, so I don't think so. Well, I had <laughs> well he didn't get so. any. He didn't get all 100. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> GG. GG. Nice GG. game. I just used the route you had in your time on the boards, Mumbo. Oh, I or... absolutely did not. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you came out with something new. Mm -hmm. All right. How did you? Yeah, well, a minute three apart. Pretty good. GGs. Yeah, so you did the uh, you did the five and GGM three and MT route, and Mumbo did the three and five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or the three and four rather with jingling. Yeah, I haven't looked into the into the newish realms at all so far. I only had like only prepared today, so yeah. <laughs> that's so a okay. Yeah, for the linearity yeah. one, that's definitely. I mean, like we said, I mean, you were literally a, a minute behind Mumbo, like not even that bad. Yeah. But M Mumbo, we were just like it, really admiring your MT route, just the. The beak bust into the trouble clef into the orange ginjo and the egg game yeah. is just like such yeah. a nice like straight path to get out. what you need. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. Okay, well we get we'll get you guys reset. If you wanna grab some water, take a small little two minute break before we get you guys loaded up into game number two. Game number two today, chat is gonna be two Cheeto page rewards. Which means both of our runners are gonna have to find ten Cheeto pages. And return them to Cheeto the Spellbook. How exciting. It's like a little scavenger hunt. It is like a little scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is just on Discord, but the gameplay is really jumpy on my end. Could be OBS. Let me try to... All right, that's better. Okay. I'm going to grab a new water bottle real quick. Okay, how are you boys feeling? You boys ready to go? I am ready. Yep, I'm ready too. Are okay. ready as well? I cup. I'm ready. Ready to slam it in? Okay, here we go. Let's get ready for game number two in three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck, guys. All right. So with two Cheeto page rewards, Ica, why don't you explain to chat what we're going to see here? All right. So some people in chat might not know this, but when you collect five cheetah pages in, in any increment of five you can go to cheeto who is in grunty's lair right here in spiral mountain you'll be able to get a reward oh, oh no both. they both failed Quango skip oh no mumbo might think he's screwed now <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think both of these runners he's screwed <laughs> okay, i know so whenever i fail Quango cutscene cut skip is like okay i'm i'm done i'm dead <laughs> Yeah, especially against Gogo, right? You're just like, yeah. okay, I'm fucked. Especially in Mr. Pastrick. He luckily it didn't happen, but... Alright, well, luckily <laughs> both of them skipped it, so we're still pretty much seeing Teddy. Into the oh, no, Mumbo misses the egg nest. <laughs> going into Klungo. Okay, so yes, go ahead, keep going. So, Cheetos in Spiral Mountain. Cheetos in Spiral Mountain increments of five Cheetah pages. He'll give you a reward. I actually forget what the rewards are, because it's been literally, like, over a decade since They're I've cheat seen them. But... He they're, gives you cheat uh, codes. They're all cheat codes. Yeah. He gives right. you cheat codes to put in code chamber. I don't know what it is for 10, but 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25, I'll give you rewards. And this is two Cheetah page rewards. So we're going to see these runners collect 10 Cheetah pages. And then well, turn them into I know the first two are eggs and feathers. So just like in yep. Kazooie, he doubles your eggs, he doubles your feathers. But uh, the third one, I think, is fall proof. I think that's the cheat, yeah. that uh, you know, don't take any damage from falling. I know, I remember that one, because that one's, like, so unique. But I think, like, infinite health is also a cheat that it gives you. I'm not sure. 
I don't know if that's the one he gives you. I think at 25, he gives you the jukebox cheat in jobs. Oh, yeah. But and I then I think 20. The fourth one is. I think 20 is health regen. Oh, honey back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So Mumbo again, lucking out early, uh, getting green Klungo versus Steve, who got red again, which definitely sucks. Uh, so yes, with uh, 10 Cheeto pages, it's a little bit different, right? Because with health, the health requirements only go up in increments of uh, odd numbers, right? So it's one health, you need one honeycomb, then you need four honeycombs, then you need eight honeycombs, then you need 16 honeycombs, and so on and so forth. But uh, with Cheeto pages, it's always increments of five, and there's only, you know, three Cheeto pages per level. So we have to see them grab at least three levels worth of Cheeto pages. Yeah, um, because it's a Cheeto page. Because grab one in Spiral Mountain right under Cheeto. Right? Yeah. So, so, yeah, we're really going to have not, to see what happens here. It's not recommended. You, your first instinct might be to, oh, just do the first three levels. But you definitely don't want to do that because the uh, Cheeto pages in Witchy World suck. Right. Well, yeah, you definitely don't want to do Saucer Apparel. Uh... Cave of Horrors kind of can be out of the way, especially if you're not confident with Torch Jump. Uh, just an all-around not a great level for Cheeto Pages. So that's why we are going to see DCW. Uh, and they're going to DCW to a level where they can grab easy Cheeto Pages before coming back and ending in Spiral Mountain. So most likely, uh, we are going to see a DCW to HFP. Uh, because yeah, the TDO ones, you need clockworks for most of them. Yeah. But HFP has really easy ones, especially if you have split up. You can do solo K and you can get out of here uh, really quickly with Cheetos. So, um, and just to uh, keep people uh, aware of what the world record is, GoGo holds the world record for two Cheeto page rewards with a 3305. Yeah, I looked up his record and go go DCW's HFP. Now, I will say uh, we are already seeing a difference in routes here. Steve is going to open up MT first, whereas Mumbo is going straight to GGM, already having got the Red House treble, jig uh, treble clef. Very interesting. Yeah, the thing with Cheeto Pages, it's like there's just so many different like options, different things you can do. It's like you have to do so much timing to like figure out what the actual fastest route is. Yeah, because some of the individual ones are still slow to grab. But like yeah, some like, of them are really easy, right? Like Mumbo right here, he flutters and he gets his first Cheeto Page in the book right here on top of the Glitter Gulch sign. That's an easy yeah. peasy one. The one in Water Storage is also... Easy, but do you really want to do Canary Mary? That's the question. Canary Mary one and two to grab an extra Cheeto page here in the beginning. Yeah, I think for ten probably Cheeto pages, no. that's not worth it. Yeah, probably no. Fifteen, so what, maybe. So what are we gonna get? We're gonna get two in GGM. We're probably three, gonna get all three in MT, right? Yeah, all three in HFP. Wait, what are the three in MT? The three in MT is uh, one above pillars. Snake, snakehead skip. Well. Right in front of where you do snakehead skip, you, the and pillars. Then one by the snake. Yep. Yeah. And then you'd get one in Witchy World, probably Cave of Horrors. Yep, most likely. Don't think they're going to want to turn into the van. Definitely not. Probably avoid the van there. They're not going to get Clockworks either. And then you get two in HFP, right? So that's two, three, two, two, and then one in Spiral Mountain. And the two they're going to get in HFP. Oh, no! No! Wait, Mumbo. is that... Is, Wait, it, is that, that intended? intended? I don't know. Because the Cheeto oh, page is right is there. Oh, it is intentional. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> he got us. Oh, yeah, he spooked me hard. So he's going to grab extra notes down here. Oh, for Bill Drill. Oh. He's going to skip... Well, no, he can't skip Fuel Depot, though. But he's no. going to skip Green... He's going to script green pile? 
I guess so. Man, once I mean, again, I mean another eight jiggy route here, Ica. That's just a little like different than what we've seen. Oh, yeah. by the way, we've completely ignored the fact that Steve is doing MT first. Yeah, does that mean he's doing Golden Goliath? Yeah, he's gonna have to, and he's gonna have to kick open the prison compound door. Yikes. But that's not even that bad, iCup. You showed yesterday that a Jiggy route for all GGM actually isn't that bad if you can skip Build Drill. And technically, you don't need Build Drill for this category. Yeah, and you don't even really need grenades. It's good for death warping, but you don't absolutely need them. Yeah, that is also true. You don't need grenades in this. Well, besides to do the DCW, you do have to set hey, up the DCW. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that might come back to bite Steve, the fact that he's going to have to do that trek across uh, Plateau for fire so, eggs and grenades like you did yesterday. This will be interesting to see, because when I was watching that first race back, I like when I was doing MT first, you guys all thought I was dead, but like towards the end, you're like, oh, well, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah. So I'm interested to see like you how... You even ahead for, at some point. So this is interesting. So Mumbo opted to go for Waterfall, but skipped Flooded Cavern just to be close to water storage, which I actually really like. Uh, yeah, that's and he'll hot, just right. have to pick up one extra Jiggy in MT, but that doesn't seem like that'd be that hard. In fact, he could even get Pillars. Steve He's dropping down the doing Golden Goliath. Yeah, I don't think he knew exactly where to drop. Steve not having run 100% uh, before. Very interesting. Very interesting. So Mumbo's up to two Cheeto pages. Steve has yet to grab his first one. Now Mumbo making his way over here for... Detonator Levitation. Yep, we're seeing an all MT A Jiggy route again, Ring Rush, from Steve today. In order to access some of these MT Cheetos early. Whereas Mumbo is, uh. Mumbo's gonna have even extra notes going into uh, grenades. Or Mumbo could opt to skip Gen Cavern and P Hut here if he wants to. I don't know if he wants to, but he could. Because, what, he's up to four Jiggies now? Is that right? Or three Jiggies? Yeah, these three Jiggies. Three Jiggies, then. So, he could get five in MT and just leave here with Bill Drill. But I imagine he'll he'll duck in and grab these two. Yeah, and it's not worth it to grab just one of them, really. So, Steve now with two Jiggies. Saving and quitting. Get back into MT. Mumbo learning to move he doesn't necessarily need, but not the end of the world to grab it now. Just skips, lets him skip Golden Goliath, which is probably the whole point of this route. Uh huh. No, he's leaving! He's leaving! Oh. Yeah, he's gonna get all of the, uh, he's gonna get all the MT stuff. Yeah, this is uh, definitely really interesting from Mumbo here. So yeah, this is even another possibility of an 8 Jiggy route that we're seeing specifically for Cheetos. Where even though the GGM Jiggies come in pairs, Mumbo opted to skip one full pair completely and only get one of the others. Steve getting grip grab, but do you even really need grip grab in this he category? He does need grip grab to get to the Cheeto by Pillars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta slide along to grab that one, and both of them for sure are gonna be getting that, so... Yes, and maybe that was Mumbo's thing. He said, I'm gonna do JSG early anyways because I need grip grab. Yeah. Yeah, you do also need it for Cave of Horrors, Cheeto. That's absolutely correct. Even with Torch Jump, you do have to sidle along the edge with Grip Grab just for a little bit. 
Yep, and the Slumber Cheetah Page. Yeah, you need Grip Grab for a lot, actually, in this round. So now it's really going to come down to what all can Steve get done while Mumbo is doing the puzzle. Well, he's going to get this Cheetah Page by Slumber and the Slumber Juggy. Yep. He's playing it super safe here, not doing the jump over. Uh, we believe the best place to DCW2 Ring Rush is HFP. Because you can DCW to Chili Billy, drop down, split up, uh, get an easy uh, Cheeto Page in Icy Side, and then recombine and grab the one under Coliseum before you leave. Alright, so Steve grabbing the rest of his jiggies now. Mumbo with a 93 MT puzzle. A little bit of a weird direction here. Oh, oh no. He's really trying to stay in flight. Oh, ah, man. The laggy takeoff there. Kind of oh, oh no, no. you hate to see this. Nice, he does stay in flight though, right. that's good. Because he needed to stay in flight for this one. And hopefully he can stay in flight for this one as well. Because I'm imagining he wants to go back over to Bavina. Nice! Nice. Actually great flying here from Steve. Nice. This is yeah, actually, this is actually great. Room, yeah, so he's going to grab Bovina and just pop into prison compound. Yeah, I think it would have been a little faster to beat bomb over to the flies and then get the Jinjo, but this is fine. Yeah. This isn't Because now he's going to have to run all the way across the field to get Jiggy then all the way back. But. Yeah. So, yeah, so the good news here from Steve, though, is think about how much Mumbo did in GGM. And Steve isn't going to have to do hardly anything. He's going to grab the Cheeto page above. He's going to go grab the one in water storage, and then he's going to set up DCW, and he's going to be done. Yeah. He's going to be able to say him quit right after he sets up DCW, too. So. Yeah. It's just going to all come down to does the being able to silo to Pine Grove matter? Because Mumbo will have that access as soon as he is done with MT. Yeah. I think it's going to be another case that we had yesterday between me and Gogo. God, Mumbo makes that JSG look so early doing the double beak bomb setup there. Oh, Steve not doing pillars. He's going to do Swamp Jiggy. He's going to do Swamp instead. I think that, that makes sense to me, right? Because, yeah. you know, unless you're getting pillars first try, you're probably losing a lot more time than you want to be. Steve is up on Cheeto Pages for the time being. He does have one more than Mumbo right now. Nice flap flip. <laughs> hey, that ledge is really high. All right, so Steve is now done with MT. He's going to be making his way out. He's got all three Cheetos. Yeah, he's probably going to do both puzzles now. Yep. Both puzzles, and then he's got to go to GGM. We will see. I don't know. I think Mumbo has definitely caught up a lot. Uh, even though he's still got to grab all these Cheeto pages, I think he's way, way ahead of Steve right now. Yeah, because both puzzles are going to take a while, and then Steve still has to do GGM, which won't take him that long, but setting up TCW definitely takes a couple minutes at least. I think the annoying thing is that he doesn't really have a straight line to get into water storage. Uh, like Mumbo did. Mumbo got a Jiggy with the Cheeto page and the Trouble Clef, whereas Steve doesn't need anything but the Cheeto. Yeah, that is true. So Mumbo now up to three Cheetos, tied, but Steve is up a puzzle. And Mumbo does still have some Jiggies to collect, as well as the other two Cheetos. So we'll see if Mumbo's flying is a little bit better than Steve's, or a little bit worse, or about the same. Well, already we're seeing the not land on the temple. Ooh! Ooh. Takes the hit on the temple, though. I've got to feel bad for Kazooie on that one. 
Oh my god, that was uh -oh. almost like the perfect drift. There we go, nice. Oh, he's also gonna land over here to get the treble clef. Huh. Steve did not get that treble clef. But I guess Mumbo yeah. wants notes early for split up. Yeah, you don't really need a lot of notes. And there you go, Mumbo. So. Oh, Mumbo, is he gonna go into here? Yes, he's gonna skip yeah. Robina again. Oh, I don't know what that grenade was. Uh, he was trying to open prison compound <laughs> before, but he was way up there. Yeah. A little bit off of the doorway. So the real question is, can Steve get out of GGM before Mumbo finishes his puzzles? Yeah, this That's is going to be really question. tight. Because Mumbo does still have to open up Witchy World. He gets the skill uh -oh. stop. Wait, was that? That was yeah, intentional. Intended, He's got the death warp here. Intended. But now my question is... Well, but wait, he still needs is a jiggy. Is he coming back to Swamp, though? Or is he actually going to do Pillars with one health? Yeah, he still needs a jiggy, so... He is going to do Pillars oh, with oh, one oh. health. Oh, my oh, God. God. If Mumbo nails this, this is actually incredible routing. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. He did yeah, not like yeah, that yeah. jump. He did not like that jump. This is so scary. Mumbo oh looking god. good though. Oh, oh that's so good. Oh my god! He's a legend, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! Absolutely nuts. There's some big balls on this boy. That is actually so sick. So yeah, if you flutter for one of those jumps and miss the jump, you do take fall damage near the top. So if Mumbo had failed that, he would have had to beak bomb all the way back into Pine Grove. But that was also, absolutely sick. So now he's already getting ready to start his puzzles. And Steve hasn't even gotten into GGM yet. Yeah. Mumbo made pi pillars look a, a lot easier than they really are. Yeah. The the movement for pillars is definitely not easy. It's not a, it's not a gimme. I won't say it's difficult. But you do have to kind of focus on where you're jumping, when you're fluttering. Getting that final ground pound in without losing height. And yeah, I mean, we've seen we've seen runners struggle on pillars uh, over and over in this tournament already. So well, to watch Mumbo do it with one health like a boss is just insane. Yeah, Steve getting that bonk. Unfortunate. Yep. Unfortunate is right. Up to four Cheetos. He's making his way over to water storage. So let's route here, Death Warp and Water Storage and set up ECW. Yep. Yeah. He's going to grab some extra notes, make sure he's got enough for split up. Yeah, I just don't know if it's enough. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not enough. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately. Because, yeah, I mean, Mumbo is going to get to warp straight to... Straight to Witchy World, and Steve, unfortunately, is going to be locked in GGM, and he ha will have to save and quit as the detonator. Man, Man, I wanted to see us free the dinos, but yeah, you wanted to see might this, not happen. You wanted to see the Styrak family. Yeah, I wanted to be here for another two hours. <laughs> I guess we're not going to see some Styrak. Or you'll, we'll see. I mean, Mumbo could die in HFP or something. He could die in HFP before grabbing the Cheetos. That would be a huge meme. Because that would mean that Mumbo is basically locked into doing Canary Mary. Because that would be the fastest one at that point in time to do. Yep. Which sounds absolutely terrible. Yep. So, Mumbo, he reset after his puzzle. He will definitely be the first one entering Witchy World. Which means, yeah, as long as Mumbo doesn't die in HFP, I think we're going to say Game 2 goes to Mumbo, and we're going to close it out here.
But there's always a possibility, right? Maybe yeah, Mumbo yeah. goes for a torch jump and fails it. Loses some I mean, more time that way. We've seen some crazy things in Banjo Race tournaments. We have seen some crazy things. Like, I, I think it was an Ernicus who died to Weldar during the last tournament and cost me $75. True. True. Oh man, Mumbo in Witchy Roll before Steve can even save and quit. Yeah, Mumbo just yeah. with an insane early route. With the Waterfall Cavern drop into Water Storage, I think it was just so sick in terms of, uh, in terms of directness, in terms of linearity. Seemed like the best option there. Yeah, definitely. Mumbo does need five more notes for split up here. Right, or is split up 150? Nah, yeah, uh, I think it's 160, notes. isn't it? It's 160, but he hit the back of the tent warp, so he's gonna go for the cavern first. And then he's gonna warp to the back of the tent, get split up, and head over to Space Zone. That yeah, that, that makes sense. At first, I was like, what the hell are you doing? But Okay, Cave of Horrors, and Mumbo's opting not to go for Torch Jump. I like this. Oh. I think you take the early lead, right? Going for oh, this. No! Oh, no! He goes for the tooth skip and fails it. Go, Steve. Go, Steve. That's kind of a big run to come back from. Yep. He's now going to have to walk all the way back into Cave of Horrors. I mean, Steve is not in Witchy World yet, so he's got time to make this mistake. But now I'm wondering if Mumbo does that again. Probably not, right? Yeah, I don't think so. He probably plays it safe, I imagine. It, but if Steve goes for Torch Jump and gets it, he's going to save a lot of time there. He's still going to be behind, but that's going to save a lot of time. He will save a lot of time if he does it, but I don't know. We'll see if Mumbo goes for it. I think Mumbo's okay. going to play it safe. He's not turning the camera. Yeah, he looks like he just wants to get this Cheeto page and get the hell out. Yeah. Respectable. Steve finally making his way into Witcher World here. Yeah, I don't know. I think the all MT route is really only worth it if you don't need grenades and you're just going to Witch World. I yeah, I think I agree with you. All right, Steve making his way. I think he already has enough notes for split up. Looks like he wants to learn it first. We've got a sink on split up. Oh, are we going to see sink the Bronx? No. Oh, rip. Well, at least sink no Bronx. That'd be sad if one of them bonked. What's, where's Mumbo going? Mumbo is going to do Gondola DCW, it looks like. Oh, interesting. Oh, but wait, got no, no, no. Wait, did he get the goggles? He did get the goggles. So, wait, what is he doing? He's inting, that's what he's doing. Maybe he forgot he had them. Oh, Steve. Oh, oh this looks better. Oh, this looks good. Nice. nice. If Steve doesn't go for Gondola. I think it, this is, I mean, I don't know. Is this even this bad? Gondola DCW is usually faster just because you can save and quit and leave. But I don't know if it's worth the climb when you're coming from split up. But maybe yeah. it is. Maybe it is. It's definitely not faster if you get the goggles, which I'm pretty sure you did. Maybe you didn't. Mumbo is going to Inferno! What? Mumbo's going to Inferno. Whoa. Wait, and so is Steve! Why? I don't know. I guess they think this is better. Maybe they're going to DCW somewhere where they only need one Cheeto page. Instead of getting two in HFP. So where are they going to go then for one? Maybe TDL? Maybe TDL? They drop down and get that one by Mumbo? Maybe. Yeah, we might see that. We are not going to see Weldar. Well, Weldar, Geopage. 
But is Van really faster than just going to HFP? I don't think so. For two? I think two and HFP is faster Oh my god, Bumbo can't get over the thing! Yeah, well done, Cheetah Page. Well, in order to do that, you'd have to DCW with uh, Clockworks, which we're definitely not going to see. Thank God Mumbo's saving the frames. Just or maybe DCW to Pot of Gold to get that Cheetah Page. Oh, yeah. That's also a possibility, but probably not. That was mostly memeing there, but... I cannot believe they're both doing Van. Yeah, I don't think Van is a play for this. So they're skipping Van instead of the Pillars one in Ice. And I gotta say, I would think Glide Jump is better than, uh... I think Glide Jump is better than Van. Don't you? I think it is. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you fail it, maybe not. But... Try, but this is like, holy... Can you make that jump without wing whack from yes. glide to yes ice yes pillar? Okay. yes? Yeah, no, so they're going Mumbo, to HFP. Mumbo just didn't want to do glide jump, maybe. Yeah, neither did Steve. If if Steve went for glide jump, he might have had a chance, but. Or wait, am I counting? Maybe they did need this. Yeah, we yeah, might. Yeah. Okay, so we miscounted. So you do need Inferno. If you skip Otherwise, Inferno, you then. you need all three. Okay, that makes sense. I still think all three in HFP would be faster. Well, you Van, can't get. You can't get the one in Grotto. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So they didn't have a choice. Okay, that makes sense. So we were freaking out because we miscounted. Yeah. We can't count to 10, chat. Oh, because we said two. We said two in Witchy World. We said. Right? Two, three, two, two, and one. That's yeah. what we said. Okay, so that makes sense. So they both had to do Inferno regardless of what they wanted to do. Well, Mumbo will be the first one to HFP. I know somebody asked what do they need split up for. They need it for one of the Cheeto pages because they need to get over there as solo K. Mumbo making sure he doesn't fall off the side of Chili Billy there. Very good. Yeah, it starts you in the air there, which is a giant meme. Dropping down the side, gonna hit the split up pads. You love to see it. Swap to solo K. And now it's gonna come down to glide jump. How are we feeling about glide jump? If Mumbo fails it, this is going to be a much in more interesting race. Well, it's going to be very close if he fails it once. I'll, si I'll yeah. say that. I think he's still got time to set it up again. That looked like a great setup, though. Yeah, he gets there yeah. easy. Okay, nice jump. He death warps. Okay, so now they're going to come over here and egg barge for the Coliseum Cheeto. And then Mumbo's going to be making his way into uh, SM. I think Mumbo's going to take world record here. He's looking like a really, really hot time right now. Yeah, I don't know how much text Cheeto, page, Cheeto has, but it's probably not that much. Well, keep in mind that uh, timing actually ends when you throw the Cheeto page to Cheeto. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, he's so fast, even with the death. Yeah, he's like way ahead right now. Yeah. I mean, I won't say way ahead. I think he's going to be world record by 30 seconds or more. Even with a death, which is crazy. Yeah, which is pretty insane for this category. Or category of this lane. Okay, we'll see if Steve gets a nice glide jump here. He's about to set that up. Mumbo making his way back out to Spiral. There's 10. Steve getting ready for glide. Looks pretty good. He might have pressed A a little early, but he barely no, makes it. He got it. Oh, God. Where's he going, though? Oh, he missed the my, jump. No. Oh, you hate to no. see that. He had a weird camera angle and just went for it. Oh, uh, rip, Steve. There's five. 
10. GG. Yeah, B world record GG. by like a minute and a half. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Insane. GG Merlin. All right, let's OP. bring him in. All right, GG's. GG's. Oh my God, I did it again. GG's. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't tell me you did the exact same thing again. No, I I mean, I got distracted because you said GG, so I stopped actually doing it. But holy shit, man, I was laughing my ass off there so hard. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think you can uh, jump from there with Chili Willy. Like, if you jump when he hits oh, the really? ice ball, I think you can still get there. But yeah, yeah, yeah oh, Mumbo, he yeah. got glide jump Mumbo, and then he just jumped without looking and just... <laughs> Landed right <laughs> below the cheetah page. <laughs> but uh, I think he's good. I think he's gonna try to do the jump here. You only get one shot, unfortunately. Yeah. So you better I, make I sure you jump. Better make sure you jump high enough. Uh huh. Gotta get to the edge. Get to the edge, Steve. Oh, what are I'm, you I'm, doing? Uh, I'm not gone from there. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> you already left. Nice. Yeah, I'm just running around. All right. Well. Holy cow, Mumbo putting on a clinic today. The pillars with one HP, we were freaking out. <laughs> but he made it look so Holy. easy. You love to see it. Nice, Jake, congrats, Mumbo. Jake, the Jump nice in the tooth oh. room is the hardest part of the run. Honestly. Yeah, well, how about this? You bopped world record by a minute and a half with a yeah. death in Cave of Horrors. <laughs> Holy. That, yeah, that category can be under 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah sure, 30. I think if you right. go for torch jump and get it. Huh? If you go for torch jump and get it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But fuck that. All right. Well, my gosh. A nice 2-0 from Mumbo. Very good playing. Steve, I mean, you were right behind in both categories. We can't fault you for your gameplay. Everything looked pretty good. I think just Mumbo took a little bit more time on the routing. Yeah. Not yeah, to say job, I Mumbo. put all my eggs in two baskets, but if this was going to a game three, it, the outcome might have been different. <laughs> <laughs> I said you weren't ready to do the Styrax family, is that what you're saying? Maybe. <laughs> I was ready to commentate it. Hey, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine I kept put much prep into his short triple bingo, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> can't sense. prep for that. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Okay, well, that is it for us here at Banjo Race today. We had a nice 2-0. Steve, you moved down to loser's bracket to face up against Claire. Hopefully, we can get right. you guys scheduled pretty soon. And Mumbo, you will advance to face against GDO. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 